Hi guys and thanks for watching again. In this video I will be showing you how to calculate the correct resistor value for an LED or multiple LEDs and of course I'll create a couple of examples. A simple circuit with a resistor looks like this. Positive, negative terminals of your power supply or battery or anything. This is the resistor. The ugliest drawn resistor ever, an LED. Now it's still is a normal diode, but now it is an LED. So, and it doesn't really matter where you put the resistor here or there. It doesn't matter as long as it's in line with the LED. So the calculation for the resistor is very simple as long as you remember Ohm's law, which is like this. U is I times R, where U is the voltage, I is the current in amps, and R is the resistance in ohms. So now we need to fill in these values. Say for example, well, well let's start with a blue LED, a bright blue LED, and let's see if this is actually the correct bright blue LED. This is not normal 3 volt battery, so this is the blue LED. And this LED draws about 20 milliamps at 3 volts. So that means we know two, two values already, but not quite enough, because we also need to know the input value, uh, input voltage of the power supply. So let's say your power supply draws 12 volts. Then you need the resistor to drop 9 volts, because 12 volts minus the 3 volts of the LED is 9 volts. So uh, now we can fill in the formula. So 9 volts is, and the LED draws 20 milliamps, so 0 0.02, which is in full amps, times R. So we need to find R, so we need to reverse the formula. So let's do it like this. Um, U divided by I is R. So 9 divided by 0 to 0 2 is, and let's get a calculator, 9 divided by 20 milliamps is 450 ohms. So now we need to know what resistor to get. But <laughs> if you have the standard 5 volt tolerance resistors like me, you probably do not have a 450 ohm resistor in stock. So you have two options at this point. Select the nearest higher value resistor or use two resistors in series. Uh, the nearest resistors of the 450 ohm are 430 and 470. Uh, so selecting the 430 ohm resistor can put the LED to its limits and shorten its lifetime, so selecting the 470 ohm resistor is the best idea. But if you really want to hit the 450 ohm mark, you can use two resistors of course, and in this case probably a 180 and 270 ohm in series, which makes 450 in total, is a good option. So let's put it to the test, use just the 470 uh, ohm resistor and one bright blue LED, which I have over here. Uh, let's get the leads. the leads a little bit separated. So thin the LED, thin the leads. Well, take a mind. let's see. Uh, this one, yeah. The longer lead is always the positive. So let's thin it a little bit. And let's see, yellow purple brown 471 now let's see here's a 12 volt power supply connect the negative and the positive and the LED will run at 3 volts drawing 20 milliamps Let's put that aside.
um, let's see, let's do another example. I've got also a red LED, and red LEDs just use a little less, uh, require a little level. Oh, I'm now making a mess, a less voltage than the 3 volts over there. This probably requires 2.2 volts. So let's make some calculations again. The power supply still is 12 volts. 12 volts minus the 2.2 of the LED is 9.8 volt to drop for the resistor. So let's see, 9.8 divided by the 20 milliamps is 490 ohms. Again, you can use the 470 ohm resistor over there and push the LED to its limits, or use the 510 ohm resistor and make the LED live a little longer. Do the same trick again. Still checking the positive and negative, of course. So it's a little bit more clear. And put the resistor in line. Terrible soldering of my part. I'm sorry. No, not terrible. This is awful. There we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if my calculations are correct or the LED goes boom. That's correct. So, what happens if you crank up this voltage to, say, let's uh, say 120 volts? Would a simple resistor still be enough? Um, let's find out. Sorry for the sudden jump, but I made a terrible thinking mistake, so um, I have to start over again. Um, I was saying, uh, can we just connect the LED to a 120 volt power source with just one resistor. So let's say 120 volts minus 3 is 117 volts to drop for the resistor. So 117 divided by 0 0.2 amps. Let's take the calculator. Divided by makes that we need a resistor of 5,000, 5,850 ohms. So um, that will work <laughs> for a very short time because the resistor is uh, rated for a quarter watt. So um, we need to calculate the, the amount of watts uh, will, will be dissipated by the resistor. And there we, we have this formula. Power is current times voltage. So if we need to calculate what the um, resistor is, is uh, dissipating, or, or uh, we uh, need to calculate the 117 times 0 0.02 so the resistor will dissipate 2.34 watts and that's way too much because this resistor is rated for a quarter watt, 0 0.25 watts. So to make this work, we need to put 10 of these uh, resistors, probably the next uh, uh, resistor is, which I have in stock at least, is, is 86,800 ohms. So we put, have to put 10 of these in parallel without, uh, so, so that they don't, do not exceed their rating. So, um, and that also applies if you have multiple LEDs. So let's say 
and you have 10 LEDs, 10 LEDs, all dissipating, all, all, all drawing 20 milliamps, makes that the total circuit uses 200 milliamps. So, like I said, 2 milliamps, uh, and they're, they're, draw, uh, they're using 3 volts, so 3 volts. Um, but that's the total amount of watt used in the circuit, 3 volts times 200 milliamps. is 0 0.6 watts. But the resistor is dissipating a little bit more because uh, it is a 12 volt power supply, so it's dissipating 9 volts. So it needs to be rated at 1.8 watt. So that means uh, if you have, you, you need at least uh, seven resistors of 0 0.5 watt, 0 0.25 watt. I'm sorry, uh, but that's still not enough. So you need eight resistors of a quarter watt. So you can put two watts through the resistors. So that's also a good thing to keep in mind that the resistors are just are capable of dissipating power for a little a few LEDs. So this is my video about resistor values and LEDs. I hope you can use this information uh, for your next project. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. So thanks for watching.